Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 6 of our Raspberry Pi video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about connecting Raspberry Pi via VNC from Windows 10. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 5 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. Alright, so let's get started. Connecting Raspberry Pi via VNC. So first of all, what is VNC? Well, VNC enables you to remotely access and control your devices wherever you are in the world. So it is kind of very, very important software right now. It's open source, it's free, and it's more like your remote desktop application that you use in your Windows operating system to connect another Windows operating system. But using real VNC, you can connect a Linux operating system via Windows 10. So you will be doing something like this. Our Raspberry Pi is currently running Ubuntu Mate operating system so we are going to connect it via VNC in Windows 10 operating system that's what we're going to do so before starting to work with VNC we need to first of all prepare our Raspberry Pi to connect via Windows 10 so the preparation is going to be taking some kind of stuff to be installed in our Raspberry Pi's Ubuntu Mate operating system so that you can connect with your Raspberry Pi from Windows 10 the first thing is you need to install the tight VNC server in your Ubuntu Mate of Raspberry Pi and then you need to install XRDP it's again a package that you need to install in your Ubuntu Mate of Raspberry Pi and then you need to create a auto start folder under dot config folder and the config folder has a prefix of dot which means it is a hidden folder so you need to access that hidden folder and then you need to create a folder called auto start and within this auto start folder you need to create a file called tightvnc.desktop and this file is basically like your user desktop in windows 10 or windows operating system world that any user will have to perform some kind of operation like storing the shortcuts in the desktop something like that and it's pretty much exactly the same thing whatever you store in the desktop of that particular user that's going to sit inside this particular file. So basically this is kind of a desktop that you're going to provide for the user who is going to access from the VNC client, right? So we need to create this tight vnc.desktop file as well. And then we need to input some of the data in that like configurations. So we'll be doing that as well. And finally, we are going to connect this Raspberry Pi via this VNC client. So now we have to prepare our Windows 10 as well. So for doing that, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is to install the VNC client into your Windows 10 operating system. That's it. So let's do this in action and see how things works. So for that, I'm going to flip to our PuTTY. So I'm going to open our PuTTY and I'm going to connect to my Raspberry Pi. I know the IP address of my Raspberry Pi, so I'm just going to key in and I'm going to hit open. So it's asking me to log in. So I'm just going to log into the Raspberry Pi. And as I already said, the first thing we need to do is to install the tight VNC server in our Raspberry Pi. So for doing that, you can use a command called apt-get. So this apt-get is more like your package installer in your Linux operating system. So if you just give apt-get and then if you try to key in any of the package name, it will automatically install if it has one. So I'm going to key in the VNC tight VNC server and hit enter. Oops, I forgot to pass the install. That's one more command. Tight VNC apt get install tight VNC server and hit enter. And it says that we don't have the permission to do that. So in order to get the permission in Linux world, we have to pass something called a sudo. So this will get the root access of that particular installation and since this user kk is a user of sudo i have the access to perform the installation by giving the sudo before the apt-get command and now if i hit enter it will ask me for the password i'm just going to give the password for the sudo and hit enter and you can see that it's installing a newest version in my ubuntu and now the tight vnc server is already installed in my machine and the next thing is XRDP. So for doing that, it's exactly the same thing. But instead of tight VNC, I'm going to pass XRDP and hit enter. So it's again going to install. There we go. So it's installed again. So these are the two packages which I need to install. And let's do a ls in our desktop. And let's navigate to 
the desktop folder and then let's do ls hyphen a because I need to get the hidden folders as well so this will display the hidden folders oops I need to go back to my desktop and do ls hyphen a and you can see that I will have a different folders and this folder the config folder is what I'm very much interested in because within this folder I'm going to create a folder called auto start so let's navigate to this config folder and hit enter and then let's do ls you can see there is a folder called auto start I have already created so let's do cd and auto start and now if I do ls you can see we have a ubuntu mate welcome dot desktop so this is something which is automatically uh, created because we have ubuntu mate operating system uh, running in our raspberry pi so it has created one for us but right now I'm going to create a file called tightvnc.desktop so for doing that I'm just going to type nano tightvnc.desktop so that I can pass in some of the configuration to connect the tightvnc server I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to paste some of the code which is basically the configurations so this is the one I am going to pass in the desktop entry and then I'm going to pass the type is equal to application because we're going to connect with the application tight VNC and the name of the application is tight VNC and the execution or exec is equal to VNC viewer colon one. So this is the attribute which represents that you're going to connect to the VNC viewer for that particular session that is first session and then startup notify is equal to false right and then I'm just going to exit by saving this particular file now let's let's open this tight vnc desktop once again and see if it is saved yep everything is saved correctly so this is going to do ls you can see that our tight vnc desktop is right now available and the next thing we need to do is to create a password for our vnc server if you're going to install it for the first time so for that i'm going to type a command called vnc password and you can see that it is vnc passwd and hit enter and then it will ask you for the password to connect to the vnc server with this password so i'm going to pass admin123 and i'm going to verify admin123 and it will say would you like to enter the view only password i'm just going to say no for now there we go so this will connect your vnc server from windows 10 operating system using this password for the user kk so in the next video we'll be talking about how to connect the raspberry pi using vnc server from the vnc client of windows 10 operating system thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day